This is Bangkok, also known as the Big Mango. The atmosphere is electric and so is the food. You don't need much help to eat shockingly well here. For people who like Thai food, this vibrant and vast city is a true culinary capital of the world, be it on the streets or in fancy rooftop restaurants with spectacular views. This city will provide you with the sensory overload, which you will find quite addictive. Welcome to Bangkok. This city is pulsing with style and energy. You will find design hotels, edgy restaurants, great shopping and a fabulous skyline. This city, it has it all. If you really want to experience the best of Bangkok, step away from the shopping malls and hit the streets. Markets are always fun to explore and Bangkok has plenty to offer. My first stop is the Fresh Flower Market near the Memorial Bridge. It is the city's most exotic, fragrant delight. The market is open every morning and if you are blooming mad about flowers, this is where you need to be. If only you could smell it. I came here in 2006 and I was amazed by the colour, vibrancy and the energy of this market. In fact, with all these roses, forget-me-nots, lilies, ginger flower, orchids, this is really the sweetest smelling market of Bangkok. A flower ball, I guess very good for juggling. All these sweet smells of flowers have worked on my other senses as well. And now, I'm hungry. According to a survey, there are more than 25,000 street vendors in Bangkok selling over 200 varieties of street food. Hello, can I have one of the juice, please? Thank you. In hot and humid Bangkok, nothing beats a fresh chilled juice from a fruit cart. I'm heading towards Chinatown, the most vibrant place for roadside cuisine. Night or day, this place is packed with people shopping or just stopping for a quick bite and some gossip. By the way, a small piece of advice. Tuk Tuk, once fun, twice shy. The energy that oozes from its endless rows of wooden shops and the tantalizing smells from hawker stalls, it's contagious and will keep you wanting to come back for more and more. I especially love these made-to-order food stalls that whip up whatever you want. Fried spring rolls, roasted chickens or noodles and broth. You just have to see how the cook bends over the wok and works like a conductor of an orchestra. Sizzling and sputtering of the ingredients, steam, smoke and within a minute you're handed over a plate of something which looks tasty and smells so heavenly. I've been eating non-stop. But then, it's not my fault. All these wonderful aromas around this city, I'm a little bit corruptible. One thing I've always wondered, how come these Thai people are so thin? Molecular cooking was discovered in the early 90s where chefs would use a scientific approach to play around with textures and flavours of food, which gave food art a totally new dimension. I've never been a fan of this concept and stayed as far from it as possible. But then, a friend insisted I check out Gagan, a fancy, molecular Indian restaurant. Dubbed as the Captain Kirk of Cuisine by Time magazine, Chef Gagan Anand has won rave reviews in local and international media for his molecular Indian cooking. And he was all geared up to impress me. Ha! Huh. Starting with his famous Calcutta-inspired dahi chaat with dahi kande. Well, I guess futuristic dahi chaat. Okay, so let's do papri chaat. Year 2015. This is futuristic dish. Okay. Now this is a gel of chutney. So it's basically a gel what is without the sugar part of it. Without like, the sugar, without the... Uh, see, there's no synergesis, the water would not leave. Yeah, absolutely. Can you do that with a chutney? No. Mm. Food as art, paint brushes. Okay. 
okay? The lovely papri is nothing Haan. scientific about it. The Thank papri. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the dahi, the chaat. Dahi. This is dahi. This is dahi. It's Looks egg. like quail egg to me. Okay, let's, let's try. Chalo. So, 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 the so these crests are a part of hyperponics. They yeah. come from different parts of the world. Okay. They all have taste. If this is not color, they are shows from Japan. Mm -hmm. So these crests keep growing. Yeah. You see, it's keep growing. It's wet. So yeah. it's as fresh as every day. Absolutely. We need to have some dhania into it. Absolutely. So there you go with the dhania kapo. Which you saw me beating. So you see how stable it is. Like shaving gel. Yeah, absolutely like shaving gel. That's a papi chaat, a simple dish. Not bad. Not bad. That, yes. that, 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 that is offensive. No, no, no. You, you, right, you're being offensive. You're saying not bad in my restaurant. It's fabulous. <laughs> I think for me, what really is the best part here is the dahi. It really feels very, very fresh. Taste wise, it was superb. It was superb. Whatever I'm saying. I have to protect my reputation also, okay? I'm known yeah. for being a purist and suddenly here I am no, 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 I, doing I, I, molecular I, I, cooking. I, I, God help me. So what are we going to taste next? Uh, this is the most dangerous dish I'm doing. I'm giving you a pasta. So your Indian touch in this pasta is the black pepper? Not only pepper, but how I think as a chef. Okay. Okay. It's my carbonara. Okay. It's my version. Absolutely. Okay, so this is carbonara. Okay. Spaghetti, homemade spaghetti. Indian, the red onions. Okay. Okay, and then we have the lots of pepper and chilies into it. Okay. Because in Thailand, they love spice. India loves spice. So it's chili and black pepper. And black pepper. And you've just tossed it in some... Yeah, just a little bit of white wine. What do you think? Is, is it raw or a cooked egg? Looks poached to me. Look poached. Slightly slow cooked. Okay, okay, awesome. I'll show you an egg. This is a, a slow bath. I cook it at 62 degrees for two hours. Which is fairly low. Yeah, it's low. You can actually put your hand here. It's a water. It's a, like a it's like a spa. So this egg had a spa treatment. For two hours. Oh, so, wonderful. So what are you taking? We're taking out the yolk out of it. And just with a little bit of olive oil so it doesn't break away. Now what we do is... This is Fosalito Ibarico Reserva. This is, uh, for me, one of the best hams. True. And uh, it doesn't have the sweetness, it doesn't have the saltiness. It's, it's a great ham. So, we have a nice Reserva. It's a two-year-old. So, I just... Parda wala carbonara. Okay, Parda wala carbonara. Well, it looks beautiful. The fun will be when you cut the egg, it becomes a sauce. Okay. That is why we cooked it at 62 degrees. Because at 62 degrees, the protein doesn't develop into, it doesn't co coagulate. Okay. It's still fluid, okay. but it is cooked. Okay. okay. So that is the fun of it. So may I? Yeah. Look at this. Are you sure this is? Yeah, 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 absolutely. This is the sauce. This is the sauce. Try it. Sure. You have to taste the egg. So I should just taste this Yeah, just the, just the egg, just the egg. Yeah, it's cooked. It's cooked. That is science. This was molecular gastronomy. The cooking of egg. Here we go about science all over again. All over again. But this guy does not realize, even with gallons of liquid nitrogen in his back storage, he has talent. Until you don't have flavors, until you don't have taste, all this molecular cooking means nothing. I'm humble. Really, honestly, no, 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 no. this is really very good. I'm really... You've left me speechless. <laughs> this carbonara, whatever he's done to it, the end product is beautiful. It did not matter whether there was a sphere of peg or not, but what really matters is what goes into your mouth. And this is superb.
This was really an eye opener for me and I even enjoyed most of the food. But more than that is this guy's enthusiasm, talent and passion which is so endearing. Today Gagan is rated in the top 10 restaurants in Asia and molecular or not this guy surely deserves it. Amar Gogon from Kolkata, khub bhalo. 